York's fire commissioner is saying tonight this was a very close call for the FDNY, an inferno that spread to several Staten Island homes, leading to a collapse, injuring 22 New York City firefighters, three of them seriously. So how did all of this get so bad so quickly? Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Norwood, live at the University Hospital, with an update on how New York's bravest are doing tonight. Morgan. Yeah, Mike, those three uh, firefighters, as you mentioned, here at Staten Island University Hospital were told in critical condition, but all are alert and awake, even at some points in the day, talking with investigators and talking with members of the fire department. Uh, the fire commissioner calling this, as you said, a very close call. Tonight, three New York firefighters critically injured while battling a raging fire at this Arden Heights home on Staten Island. The fire ripping through the home for more than an hour. Eyewitness News on the scene as one firefighter was quickly wheeled away on a stretcher and as more crews worked to extinguish smoldering hot spots. There was thick black smoke. You couldn't even barely see through the street. That's how bad I was gagging. The fire department says crews were on the scene in five minutes, running into the home as towering flames shot through the roof. Moments later, a mayday call. The wind blew the fire intensely into the into the building right at the firefighters. Two of them became trapped. One jumped from the second floor balcony. The other, a lieutenant, had to be rescued. The third? He got hit in the head. By, uh, by maybe falling plaster, and it knocked his, um, his mask, his face piece off his face a little bit, and he took some, uh, a good amount of smoke. The situation growing more dire for crews with every second. At one point, part of the home caved in. There was a collapse in the rear of the building on the right. And that's exactly where investigators believe the fire started. By nightfall, building inspectors on the ground who say some sort of extension had been built without the required permits. The residents of both adjoining homes ordered to vacate. We spoke with Vincent Pelezzi, who was inside when the fire broke out. All I knew was I had to get the dog and get out of there. As for the three firefighters rushed to the hospital. I cannot emphasize enough that this was a very close call for the FDNY. We could have lost three members today. And here at the hospital, we've seen several FDNY vehicles, which likely indicate some of the bedside support from the fire department. As for those residents, those families who were displaced tonight, we also know the Red Cross is assisting them. Live on